笑死啦！Coming to you guys once again. Um, yesterday I did a video. What was that yesterday? No, that wasn't yesterday. But I did a video anyway. Because you guys know when I had went to Whole Foods. If you guys saw that video. If you didn't see it, go check that video out. Because when I went to Whole Foods. <laughs> why am I talking like that? When I went to Whole Foods, I got some pizza. I actually did a mook bomb. But I accidentally deleted the video. Which it doesn't really matter because I was being super weird on there. Like, not like I'm weird anyway, but, you know, like, that was the chair. Okay, anyway, see, proof, proof, it was proof. That's the chair. All right, y'all. So today, today, to die, this is what we're eating. It's frozen pizza. Frozen pizza. I got two of these mugs. Okay, it's the pepperoni style pizza and I have never tried this one before, mind you. Do not mind my nails because I do have to repaint my nails. I have to repaint my nails like every freaking day and it gets annoying sometimes. I need to wear the clip on nails because wearing the acrylic, I was wearing the acrylic nails for a while. Seasoning, 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 seasoning. Season. Oh snap. I was wearing acrylic nails and it just really messed up my nail bed. So that's the seasoning I'm using. Like acrylic nails is something that I want to wear all the time. That's just me personally. You do whatever works for you works for you. But like I, I love acrylic nails. So <laughs> I just got a notification. I love acrylic nails, but like, bruh. Okay, my nail bed was messed up. Okay, my nails was looking cute. It was on fleek, but like underneath and one that last time. That's what we talking about tonight. That's what we about to talk about. Okay, so your girl, if I could find some pictures, I might add some pictures on if I feel like it. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So let's try this pizza while it's hot. I know I'm not going to eat all of this, I don't think. I might eat like two pieces of it and then just save the rest of it for later because I literally just got finished eating a huge freaking salad. I just, I didn't want to record eating a salad because I have, how many videos I already have of me eating salad? So I just ate another salad. It was so good. So I'm not that hungry right now. Cranberry juice is like my favorite. I love cram. I love red juices for some reason. Let's just talk about this right quick. Do not look at my nails. Okay, 
I like cranberry. I like pomegranate. I like hibiscus. It's just happiness. All in. We're going to do this. We're doing this. If that does not just, like, you don't even have to sage yourself. Bro, you could drink cranberry juice and it changes your whole mood. Okay. It's my first. Why does this taste like real pizza? What did you do? What did you do? You know what you guys should do, Daya? You, I don't, do they have ice cream? I know they have cheesecake. Oh my God, their cheesecake. I love this brand. I, I love you. If you guys watch this, I love your guy. I love you guys. You guys should need to make ice cream. But don't make it with coconut milk because I don't like coconut milk ice cream. I just bought this from Target. Whole Foods does not carry this, the pepperoni style one. They have the Supreme and I think it's four cheeses. Or two, or is it the cheese one and this uh, and the supreme one? This is my first time trying this one, the pepperoni style, and it's really good, you guys. I'm glad I bought two. So, yeah, let's talk about my nails. Oh my god! All right, so. The job that I have is a, because I'm not telling y'all where I work, but nails, like, like I said, when I work, my nails be looking good earlier in the day. By the time I get off, my nails are all messed up. That's the kind of job I'm at. So, um... Okay, so I was getting my nails done from this lady. It was a black lady. She was the first, she was the first person because I had never gotten acrylic nail. I never had got my nails done like with acrylic before. So I was there. I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. My first, I think, I think my first nail set, I want to always remember this was red. Like I really want to get my nails done right now. Like if I could get, but I'm not about to, I keep my nails short for the time being. I'm going to be able to be sitting pretty in a minute, but right now my nails look <laughs> like I <I'm> work. <laughs> so Right. They were right. They were pretty too. She did a great job. She was super, 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 super good. She's talented with doing nails. So I was going to her, bruh. Not I, I, and um, it was like forty five dollars. Then her prices was going up $50, $60, $60 for just a pedic, not even a pedicure, okay, just for the nails. And I wasn't even getting anything extravagant like that, to be honest. It was cute, but that the last time I went to her, she didn't even do my nails properly. 
she had, I think her, her daughters were twins. They had a prom coming up. This lady beat me out of, she gonna charge me 60 something dollars for just putting jail. Cause all she did, I don't know all of the terminology. You guys know that um that thing where they take the polish off that that vibrates. It's it feel weird. It's like that brrr, you know that little thing. I don't know what you call that. <laughs> so when she did that, um, she didn't even do it all the way where she took all the paint off of my like. Cause normally she would make sure she took all the paint off. Make sure she, you know, take care of the nails and make sure everything is together. And if there was a nail broken, she would fix it. She didn't even really bother, like, because she was rushing or whatever. She just slabbed on some gel polish, okay, you guys. She barely took everything off. She just slabbed on some of the gel polish and put some little things on there. Um, not even, no rhinestone, just some little iridescent glitter but it wasn't the glitter glitter. She put a couple of, excuse me, a couple specs on and she charged me like, I believe it was 60 something dollars. I was like, I did not go back to her anymore. And she was trying to get me to come back there. And she's like, oh, like on the sly cause I was following her on Facebook. But I'm like, no lady. And that's the thing, anytime any time. Who's texting me? Sorry. Okay, any time. I don't even have that number saved. Okay. So, it must be a replica. Any time. Um, this pizza is good. Anytime you try to beat somebody out of money or do something shady like that, work-wise, if you're trying to manipulate people out of money, best believe that karma gonna come back to you. It's going to come back, okay? I'm not even, yeah. Anyway, that lady, Cause she had, she and I guess her, her best friend had a shop together. I think they ended up closing that shop and she had to go back and work for this other lady who she didn't like. Don't try to beat people out of money. Cause money knows if you are trying to beat people out of money. Okay. I know so some people might not understand what I'm just saying. But money knows when you're trying to beat somebody. Okay? Just do it the right way. And you're going to be good. You're going to be good. But if you play shady, that karma will come back. It's not, there's no stopping it. There's nothing you can do. It's karma, okay? Whatever you put out in the universe is going to come back to you. And it's probably going to come back worse or better regardless of what, it, well, I mean, depending on what you did. If it was something good, you're going to get good karma. The earth going to be like, you know, you know, the universe, it picks up on all that vibration. Whatever you put out, you're going to get it back, okay? That's how it is. Okay, I know I just got off a little bit, but we're gonna just gonna keep it moving. Keep it moving. <laughs> mm. I only ate one slice. I'm out here talking. All right, that's not the end of my nail story. So, I start going to the little Chinese place. That don't fall on me, bruh. What you mean? I went to the Chinese place at do nails. I went there for a while. Bruh, when I told you they charged me $45 for a manicure and a pedicure, 
$45. Mind you, I was paying like $50, $60 something just for me to get my, not even a manicure. Okay, she was just putting, just doing the, the, the paint, which is understandable. Because when you good at what you do, you good at what you do, you know? And I don't have a problem paying that, but it's like, she was trying, she was beating me out of money, like charging me for stuff that didn't, you know. So I started going to the Chinese people. $45, pedicure, manicure. And I was using my own nails. But this one particular time, I was going out with some friends. I wanted to get acrylic. I mean, I didn't even want to get acrylic, but they were like, oh, you want to do the the the, the um, acrylic? And I'm like, okay, you know what? I haven't gotten it. You know, I haven't had acrylic in months. My nails heal. I'm going to go ahead and get it. Because my nails were messed up. That's why, like, I stopped wearing it for a while. So, got my nails done. It's cute. And then, probably about a little bit after that, you know, with that nail set, my nail, I think it was this finger, the nail had broke in half and split all the way down to my nail, which my nail had split in half in the middle. And it was hurting so badly. Like if you touched, if I moved my finger, it hurt. If I touch, if somebody touched it or anything, it was just so much pain. So I had to go back to them and I'm like, hey, can you take this off? But I'm like, please be careful because my, my nail is split in the middle, you know, like my baby. <laughs> so but she, you know, I'm like, how much would you charge me, you know, just to take the, the part? She's like, it's $5. I'm like, okay. I told you guys, I just ate a big salad. I am full. Okay. I'm probably, what time is it? I'm probably going to, because I, today I was off, it's Labor Day. Shout out, happy Labor Day. Um, I was off, so I slept the majority. Well, I did a lot of cleaning, but because I'm busy all the time, I slept the majority of the day, child. I was tired. Like, I had, it had me out like a light A, like a light A, like a light. <laughs> so, anyway, I went to the lady. I'm probably going to eat this later, later on tonight. I'm, I think I'm going to be up for a while. <sighs> went back to the lady. She just want to rip them off. I'm like, no, can you soak them off? Because like this one, especially this finger, like it's split in the middle. You can't just stick a metal under there and rip it off. It's going to take long. She's like, it's going to take longer for me to do it like that. Let me just, and I'm like. Okay. That pizza's good, by the way, y'all. And she's like, you chicken, you chicken. Because, bruh, yeah, I am chicken. My nail is split in the middle. Okay, can you, um, your nail split in half? Bruh, that hurt. And then, like, she was all gentle and, and as gentle as she could be, I guess, in the beginning. But then when her other customers started coming in, she wanted to hurry up and just rip everything off. I'm like, bruh. And my nail was bleeding. So I'm like, bruh. Don't do it. I'm not the one. <laughs> I'm like, don't do it. <laughs> Please do not just rip off my nail because I'm not going to be like, ow. I'm going to be screaming like everybody in here is going to be. Everybody in this whole mall going to hit me. So anyway, I didn't go back there anymore, obviously. I started painting my own nails. That's why I, I, I got to find somebody who's good at what they do and they not trying to beat nobody. So they could do my nails for me. Either that or I'm just going to wear clip on nails. Which I'm probably going to just wear clip on nails. Because like. 
it takes too long to get your nails done. Like at one point I felt so cool. Like I was sitting there, I had somebody doing my hair and I had somebody doing my nails and they like, oh, you like this, don't you? And I'm like, I could get used to this. <laughs> okay, you guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take one more bite because you know, look at that. This one got three pepperoni side bites. Like I gotta. Mm. Okay, almost done. That pizza is good. I really did not expect that tastes like a real pizza. I like this one more than the Supreme. So when I get pizza, I'm gonna get this friend. The Supreme is good, but I like this one better. Okay, you guys. The power of cranberry juice. I'm telling you, you could be in a whole bad mood, get you some chilled cranberry juice or chilled pomegranate juice or chilled hibiscus tea this it's like the whole world just who can make the sunshine sprinkle it with do <laughs> the candy man can <laughs> shout out to sammy davis jr all right you guys i had enough for today um i hope you guys have had a great labor day like I said, I was knocked out like a light. I was out like a light. I was cleaning and sleeping today. I'll be cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning. I'll be like, dang, it's hot. I'll lay down and be like, <sighs> then I'll wake up, snap. I was cleaning. I'll be cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. And I'll go lay down. I was like, bro, <laughs> that's what I've been doing all day. So now you guys, now I'm going to chill. I'm going to have a little fun. And when I say fun, I'm about to Netflix and chill. Alright, you guys. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Spread the love. We got enough hate in the world. And remember, karma. Karma is not what people say she is. You know, people say karma is a B. Karma is not. Karma is whatever you are. <laughs> so our karma is basically is fairness. Because if you put out negativity in the world don't you think you should get that back like if somebody puts out hate and spew hate out in the world don't you just think that's just like that's fair for them to get that back if you spreading out love and and trust me your intentions you cannot be hidden like who you are and your intentions if it's not pure is going to be found out like you know What's and done in the dark is going to come out in the light. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how it is. That's fine. Okay? All right, you guys. I'm really hyped right now. Like, I'm so excited. Like, oof. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>